All right, this is our second example about singularities. And so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the DH parameters for a given robot, and then I'm going to calculate, give you the Jacobian. And what you'll be asked to do is to find what are the singularities of this Jacobian and what joint variables do that respond with. With some extra credit if you can draw that picture. So this is going to be your first robot. It's going to be an RPR robot, so it has zero for the first, uh, a radial offset will have a, a link twist of uh, pi over two, zero, z offset, and then our variable will be theta one. Uh, the prismatic joint is again have a zero radial offset, will have zero link twist, it'll have its input d2 star and no, um, no rotation. And the final link is a, a radial arm, so it's got a 1 here, a 0, a 0, and a theta 3 star. But what does this robot look like? Well, again, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our base frame, x0, z0. We've got a rotation around this base frame. And this rotation here is theta 1. Um, and it is rotating uh, the next joint, which is going to be coincident with this plane. So as it rotates, it's going to rotate our x1, and then we have a rotation about x1 of negative pi over 2. So to make things a little more clear, I'm going to assume that we've rotated quite a bit. Uh, and now our uh, x1 is somewhere like this. So normally with the right-hand rule, the positive is around this way. It's going to rotate in the other direction. Uh, so it's got a link twist of uh, pi over 2. So 90 degrees off from this is going to be our z1. And along z1 is the extension of this by uh, some length d2. So I'll do my best to draw my box here. So you know, this whole distance here is going to be d2. Then at the end of that, I have no, no twist. So my next point of frame is going to be exactly the same. I've got x2 here, and I've got z2 here. And this thing here can rotate. So the rotation that I'm going to do around here is theta 3. And that rotates um, my arm from x2 to, uh, let's say that this angle here is theta 3. And uh, it rotates my arm, rotating the circle around here. That's a good way to draw it. Let's draw it coming right out here. So I've got my arm out here. So you can think of this as some sort of weird, it's got a waist rotation extend out that way, and then it can rotate that arm along this extension. I can't do a prismatic joint in my body very easily. Well, what's the Jacobian here? Well, the Jacobian is given by, and again, this is the velocity Jacobian. Uh, so this is the up first three rows up at the top. It's got a negative d2, c1, minus c3, s1. The next entry is negative s1, uh, negative c1, s3, uh, and I've got c1, c3, minus d2, s1, I've got C1, negative S1, uh, and S3, and I've got 0. 0, the last column is negative C3. And you can see why I picked this one, because I'm going to expand along this bottom row, and I only have one term in my determinant. So let us calculate the determinant. The determinant of J11 is equal to, we're going to expand along the bottom row, so you've got positive, negative, positive. So you get negative C3 times the determinant of this upper matrix, which is negative D2 C1 minus C3 S1, negative S1. And I got C1 C3 minus D2 S1 C1. Well, that term is negative C3. And I am going to cross over the C1 through here, so I get negative D2 C1 squared minus C3 S1 C1. And then a minus a negative is plus S1 C1 C3 um, minus D2 S1 squared. And there's a couple terms here that are going to cancel out very nicely. So this is S1, C1, C3, S1, C3. So these two are going to cancel. So I get equals the negative C3 times this quantity of negative D2 C1 squared 
uh, minus D2S1 squared. Uh, so I'm going to equal negative C3 times negative D2 times 1. And so what I get here is equal to C3 D2. So when does this robot hit a singularity? Well, if D2 is 0, which means that I'm coincident here, if I have no moment arm, then I can't generate any velocity. So singularities, you know, the first one that we get is D2 is equal to 0. No moment arm. And the second one is when uh, C3 equals 0. So C3 equals 0 uh, when uh, theta 3 is equal to uh, pi over 2 plus uh, k pi. k is in the integers. So yeah, the first one, case one, our robot looks like this. We've got this here, and we've got no offset, so we get a rotation here. And so we're just we're able to rotate our orientations, um, but we cannot generate any velocity. Or case two, I've got my you know, first degree of freedom here, and I've got you know some distance here. But my angle from here uh, to uh, x3 is 90 degrees, or it is 180 degrees. It's the velocity that I can generate by base uh, by link one and link three are, are coinciding, and so I, I can offset either the other one. But what I can't do is generate a velocity upwards. So I've lost uh, a degree of freedom. I cannot generate a velocity up. Uh, 